Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important question as well as concept of electromagnetic theory with all of you. Now, I am going to discuss this concept, formula and approach with the help of one particular question of electromagnetic theory which has been asked in the CSI or Net Physics exam in June 2018. Now guys, before talking about this question, I would like to tell you that on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam, I have provided you many other videos which are related to all the other subjects, okay, like mathematical physics, classical, quantum, atomic and molecular, thermodynamics and statistical physics, electronics, like almost all the subjects videos, solid state physics, you will get on this channel. So if you have not checked or not watched all other videos provided by me on this channel, you can check all these videos and all the videos will help you to prepare very well for your upcoming CSI or net physics exam and for gate physics exam and for similar kind of exams as well. Now guys, let's try to make electromagnetic theory as a very simple and easy subject okay so let's just start the discussion about this question and let's have a look at the steps at each and every point involved in this question now the question is in the region far from a source the time dependent electric fields at a point r theta phi is i'm going to tell you about each and every important point which is present in this question and on which we need to focus clear so here the electric field expression is given to us after this where omega is angular frequency of the source the total power radiated averaged over a cycle is clear this is what we need to find now guys if we are going to talk about this question what are the points or what are the important things in this question which we are having on which we all need to focus so when we are reading the question okay the first thing is that which coordinate systems have been used here so it's going to be a spherical polar coordinate system r theta and phi what it is going to tell you that the coordinate system present in this question is spherical polar coordinate system after that electric field expression is given to you clear and after that they have asked you to find the total power radiated Clear? So in this case, what you have to do, first of all, do you know the formula of total power radiated which is related to electric fields? That's how you need to think. So yeah, power radiated is related to electric field but not directly like if you are going to relate it with the pointing vector expression, then you know that power radiated will be equal to integration over the surface integral, like the surface integration of average or expectation value. Of the pointing vector okay so this is how you can write the power radiated formula so P is equal to integration over surface or the surface integral integral of expectation value of s and that's how you can simply find the power radiated and you have to be careful when you are going to put the value of dA that means the surface element since here the coordinates are spherical polar coordinates so dA will be equal to r square sin theta d theta d phi Corresponding to all the coordinate systems, clear, we should have a clear idea about the length element, surface element and the volume element so that wherever we require them, we will easily be able to use them directly. In this case guys, when you are going to put the expectation value or the average value of the pointing vector here, this symbol is representing the average value or you can even call it the expectation value, clear? So when you are going to find the average value of pointing vector, before that let me just tell you how you can find the pointing vector. Before this video guys, I have provided you one more video in which I have discussed the other formula of pointing vector. That's the like 1 upon mu naught e cross b. Clear? In this case, we are using the another formula of pointing vector which is e square upon mu naught c. And here we are mainly focusing on the magnitude part, not the vector one. Clear? So the magnitude of the pointing vector will be equal to e square upon mu naught c. You already know the value of e, that is this. You will do its square and just write the magnitude. You can see I have not mentioned any vector. I have just written the magnitude of e. Clear? So after using this formula and any time, if you are just having the electric field given to you, you can use this formula of pointing vector 
and you can find the pointing vector expression. After this step guys, what you need to do, you need the average of pointing vector to find the power radiated. So average of pointing vector, since it's going to be like cos square omega, omega t minus r upon c which is present here. When you will find its average, you will get 1 upon 2. Clear? So guys, what you are going to get from this term, the average will be 1 upon 2 and rest of the terms will remain same. So that's how we are going to get this value. Clear? This is the average of pointing vector. After this step, what you will do, just directly put this value here in this expression and you will get the answer where dA you will put equal to this and put the limits of integration for theta that will vary from 0 to pi and phi that will vary from 0 to 2 pi. So these limits of integration you will apply for theta and phi. R square will directly get cancelled out so you don't need to put the limits for that. R square and R square is also present here. Clear? So when you will put the value of average of pointing vector this and this will get cancelled out. Okay, and that's how you will get this expression very easily. So there are two things involved in this question. One is the coordinate system. You have to be very much careful about that without using or putting any expressions value. Clear? After that, how you can find the pointing vector just by using the energy, uh, sorry, electric field expression. That's how you can find it easily. Clear? This is the formula. After this, here I have written for the magnitude part. After this, how you can find the power radiated? This is the formula for that. I hope guys with this video you are getting to know about these many important points and each and everything I have discussed with you will be clear to all of you. But still if you will have any doubt at any point you can just comment about that and we will try to clear all those points. And if everything is clear to everyone that's very good. And thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Along with this guys, I also want to let you know about the Unacademy Plus subscription and the courses and their benefits. Because Unacademy Plus subscription can also help you a lot in your preparation. So by taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will be able to attend the live classes and the important courses by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam preparation. Along with this guys, once when you will take the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will get many other benefits like weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions, PDF of important notes, mock tests, okay, recordings of the live classes will be available to you and many other benefits like you will be able to understand the important tricks, important concepts, important topics and many important things you will be able to know. And the best thing is you will get the best guidance by all the top educators. Okay, now guys, if I'm going to talk about another benefit that is by using the referral code Anjali Aurora, you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. So whenever you will write the referral code, you also need to apply it to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. After this guys, what are the steps to take the subscription? So steps are, initially you need to download the Unacademy learning app, log into the app, Select your goal. Your goal will be CSI or UGC net. If you are preparing for CSI or net physics exam or any category CSI or net exam. After this, uh, you just need to click on the three lines present at the left hand side corner. Then you will get plus written there. Click on plus then click on get subscription. And that's how you can easily follow further steps and you can get the Unacademy plus subscription. There are so many courses going on on Unacademy plus for your exam preparation guys. So if you want to attend all those courses in the classes of all those courses by all the top educators, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and whenever you will use the referral code or you will write the referral code for, at the place where uh, you are having the place to write the referral code, clear? So referral code you need to write in such a way that first A should be capital in Anjali Aurora, okay? And all other alphabets in a small and no space in between. So apply the referral code and at the same time you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. Now guys, if you are new on this channel, you can even subscribe this channel and uh, so that you will be able to watch more videos and more important uh, topics, concepts and tricks okay, which I have provided you on this channel. And I hope each and every information I have provided you on this channel about the Unacademy Plus subscription will also be clear to you. But still, if you will have any doubt, any query, anything you want to ask, you can let me know about it. Also guys, I hope now you are finding EMT as a subject, easy subject 
and one by one we are going to discuss different different concepts in the videos so keep on watching the upcoming videos as well clear and uh, you will find this thing that yeah this is also one of the easiest subjects thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you